How's it guys and uh, welcome. Uh, we are here with our uh, uh, World Champs athletes uh, that just come back from the Worlds in uh, Kenya and uh, how blessed are we uh, to, to have them back and to have them perform on international level against uh, the world's best under 20s and uh, yeah I'm standing here ready for my race. I uh, don't know when it's going to happen but uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's so good standing here next to them as well as uh, Coach Jesse who also was uh, chosen to be the, the, um, the team coach for sprint and hurdles. So yes, I am extremely proud to welcome you guys back uh, as, on behalf of EPA and uh, to just thank you for representing the country and the province uh, where you just did phenomenally well. So well done. How do you feel as coach that three of your athletes represented South Africa in the Junior World Championships in Kenya? Okay, I think the first word that comes to mind is proud. Um, having one athlete get into a national team is amazing. And then to have not only two but a third to get into the team is an indescribable feeling. Um, I, I'm quite excited though because I feel like them being in the team is going to open a lot of doors in Eastern Province Athletics specifically to give belief within the province um, for guys to be saying hang on I actually train with these guys hang on I compete against these guys if they're there why can't I be there so I feel like it's really going to open some doors for Eastern Province Athletics with, within you know the, the, the belief system um, I also hope that we can start retaining athletes to know that you know we can do it within this province we can achieve things it's not someone over there that's achieving these things so if we can keep the athlete a within the province and b within the sport I think we have got a lot of potential I don't believe that there's a lack of talent within our province I believe that we we need to change the belief system within the sport competing at top level is vital what would you like to see implemented in our local track and field program and national to prepare these athletes for the future and the 2024 Olympics? Okay, I feel like this is a very tricky question. There isn't a right answer for it. It's very easy to put something on paper uh, because the South African season ends at the end of April and from there, the rest of the world, they actually begin their season. So in an ideal situation, it would be great if we could have competitions leading up to the, the international event um, but I think Eastern Province or the, the, the ASA I don't know has to somehow come on board if we've got athletes in squads to try get our athletes through sponsorships to Europe um, I think Europe is a great exposure for the athletes on an international level it gives them an opportunity to compete with athletes that are at their caliber outside of South Africa, uh, experience the different nerves so that they don't experience nerves the first time in their first heat at World Championships. Um, for our athletes, uh, nobody actually knows this, but someone like Mondre competed, he ran his first race at World Championships after his finals at Essays, which was a four month gap, and, which is unheard of, which should not have happened. Um, we tried to get to Europe, but obviously we couldn't through COVID. Um, and ASA did a good job of putting on competitions leading up to uh, Olympics and Worlds, but unfortunately, due to personal reasons, he couldn't do that. So we need to have more opportunities somehow. Um, I know that people spoke about having our nationals be later, but that's also a difficulty because then it's, it's winter for us. So it's something there's no right answer for, but I do believe that we need to prepare better. We need to give our athletes more of an opportunity to compete. And um, if there is a big uh, competition such as Olympics, I think we do need to put a, a plan together as a province so that we can prepare. We've got a handful of athletes, select who our best athletes are and put them on a preparation plan for Olympics. Mondre. What was the overall vibe when you met up with the other South African athletes in Joburg? At first, uh, when we got at the airport, myself and Ryan Jordan, everyone was standing in little groups, talking to one another, to the people they already knew. But as the days went on, they, got, they all went out of their shelves and talking to each other, and we met new friends, made new friends, um, and turning out to be great fun. When you were on the track on the day of your heats, what went through your mind when you were waiting to start your race? 
race day, the morning of the race day, I woke up very nervous. But as I got up to the track, I listened to music, I started warming up, the nerves calmed down a bit. But then they called us to the call room where we got our race lanes and numbers. And then we walked on the track and then it hit. Oh yes, this was real. And there were no time for jokes. Ryan, were, were you able to see other athletes participate at all? And how can find where you in the village where you stay? So we were able to watch the athletes compete. So we weren't allowed to leave our hotel where we were staying unless we were going to the track and they had buses leaving on the hour. So you could just hop on a bus, go to the track, you could watch the athletes participate, compete yourself and then go back to the hotel. But there wasn't any room for sightseeing. How difficult was it to get to know your relay teammates and did you have much time to practice as a team before your race? So getting to know my relay teammates wasn't very difficult at all. I'd be, I've been competing against them in a couple of competitions so although I, don't, I may not know them as well as everybody else because I'm the only person coming from the Eastern Cape in that team, it wasn't very difficult since I competed against them in like SA Champs for example. Um, in terms of practicing for the relays, the mixed relay was a bit of a rush since it was the first event, so there wasn't much room for practicing handovers and things like that. But for the 4x4 relay, which was just for men, was we got in a few handovers, but that was also the time was quite restricted since we only found out that our fourth who our fourth person was the day before the event. What did you learn from your experience and what advice would you give your future athletes? Well, first of all, I ran, in, I ran head, on, head on head against the world's fastest men under 20 over the 110 meter hurdles. It was a great experience, felt great. Obviously, there was nerves. But I would not let, I would tell the future athletes that nerves, they should not let nerves get to them. And I would also tell them to do their best, have fun, and never give up. Um, I learned that you have to be adaptable. Going into that competition, I was doing 4x4 relays that I had never run before, only 400 meter flats. So I had to adapt to my new situation and give my best. My advice to our new athletes or upcoming athletes would be have self-belief. In athletics, believing in yourself and having that self-determination, self-motivation is extremely important. My last question to the two athletes. Mondre, what was your highlight of the competition and Ryan yours as well? Um, my highlight would be, first of all, making this team. I don't think it would have been possible without my coach, Jesse. And obviously it took hard work and dedication. My highlight for the competition is without a doubt, 100% commentating for the 4x4 mixed relay finals. <laughs> Sitting there next to a, a person from World Athletics or live on Twitch, it was a great experience. <laughs> then obviously making new friends and meeting new people and then last of all, I would say it was running 110 meter hurdles. I just want to thank Eastern Province Athletics for their contribution to us. We did have preparation competitions leading up to this World Champs in Johannesburg. There were three competitions that we did go to. Um, and Eastern Province did contribute to that. So we are very grateful, very thankful for you guys aiding in our preparation. Without you, it wouldn't have been possible. So thank you very much for, for that, Eastern Province. Well, Marvin Dry, our new Eastern Province Athletic President, as a new position that you have, what plans do you have to keep quality athletes here in the Bay? You know, this is a collective uh, um, program. We as EP, EP Athletics can't do it on our own. We have to collaborate with uh, the university because keeping athletes means that we need to make sure that they stay here. So it's working with the university, it's working with the city, it's working with sponsors, uh, because there are other universities that are identifying uh, athletes from across the country that want them there with them. So um, being under 20s, 
uh, like the youngsters that we've just had represented, we would want to work with the university. So the plan is to discuss with the university what uh, what bursaries are available, what sponsorships are there to retain them uh, in the province, and of course uh, stay with us for as long as uh, for as long as we can keep them. Do you have any plan or create an, to create an opportunity for up and coming athletes to excel them to this national level that we experience currently? I think you know uh, the the athletes will will bring uh, their experience back. So we have to again, as a board, identify what will be our development program. You know, I I, I don't think we we really invested enough time into development. But again, working with the university, we have a high performance center just down the road. So how do we bring the high performance center in to be to be part of our development? So working with track and field, working with road running, working with uh, um, cross country and, 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 and to actually put a plan together that is not only going to be there for the next four years of, of, of our term but for eight to twelve years uh, because uh, the youngsters that are here now are now under 20. So how do we make sure that in the next eight years um, they can achieve and peak even even more than, than they are now and getting to the Olympics, getting to another World Champs, getting to another Africa Games uh, and, 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 it's, and it's really, you know, uh, we are right now having to sit down and actually plan that. But, uh, you know, my, my focus is always going to be on development. We haven't spent enough money. We haven't spent enough time and energy on, on really putting enough energy into our development. So, uh, again, collaborating with everybody on the board because it's not mine. It has to be a, a, a collaboration. But also, you know, collaborating with the city because we have resources. We have talent, we have the resources of the university, buying from the university, buying from the High Performance Centre. And again, you know, what is the collective uh, uh, objective that we want? And that is to be the home of athletics in the province, but also to be uh, the source of, you know, guys that can actually go out and actually then achieve on the highest, on the highest level out there. Wow, what an interview. Uh, guys, thanks very much for your time. Um, and for your dedication, Coach Jesse, uh, you said that it, it's a three, uh, it was a three uh, program, uh, a three uh, uh, project, and uh, these guys came through together with Keanu, and uh, they, they've taken the step up. So on behalf of EPA, uh, our congratulations to you guys. And then just uh, lastly, to our sponsors, um, Nelson Mandela um, Bay, uh, as well as others, um, you know, it, we couldn't do it without you, without the legacy project uh, to where we try to create opportunities for our athletes to perform uh, and, and, and of course, you know, going, going forward, it is about, as Coach Jesse said, that uh, it, it's about creating opportunities where we can then compete against uh, the country's best. Uh, and uh, yes, COVID has, has affected us all, but it is about creating new opportunities and then working with ASA um, and other role players within the, uh, within the province to see how we can get our athletes to Europe. Uh, because once we can get there, we can compete against the world's best again. And, uh, and, and that would just assist us all. So looking forward to you guys plowing back at your schools, at, at the places where you are. Coach Jesse, again, thank you very much for what you're doing and looking forward to your contribution to Eastern Province Athletics. Thank you.